am not doing any hoeing. I don't even know what hoeing is. Yeah, well, hoeing anyway, is you don't need a hoe. There's only one tool you need for gardening. And I've got it. It's a hammer. It'll be a hammer. It's not a hammer. This. Is that a hoe? Is all you... <laughs> No, it isn't. No, if you want to remove a plant, how do you get them up? Well, well, you take one of these, which is a trowel, yeah. and then you uh, approach it like that, and you dig round it, lift it, and there it is. That took you... About 30 seconds. Dirty fingernails, cricked back. That's gardening, that's what you do. OK, now let me show you how I would remove it, OK? See these three here, ready? <laughs> Well, granted, they're gone, but you can't, gone. you can't garden with a shotgun. They have ceased to exist. Well, he's dead. Wait, Susie, no, I did not ask for this. Wait, hold up, this music goes hard. Anyway, what's up gamers, it's Dingani, and uh, do you like Deltarune? Cause man, I'm in love with this game. So if you don't know what Deltarune is, it's a game made by the genius Toby Fox, the creator of Undertale. Now, Deltarune isn't a direct sequel or anything, more so an alternate universe or something, I don't know. Cause like, you see the characters from Undertale, but in a totally different manner, and it's really weird, like what? <laughs> I'm only just now playing Undertale, and being on the Deltarune hype train is really exciting. But what makes Deltarune Room so good, huh? Well, good question. It's uh, the charm. The characters, the humor, the world, and the story are so good. So a short version of the story is basically you and your classmate Susie somehow fall into the underground world because you're the chosen heroes and you gotta seal the dark geyser to restore balance or something. Your main boy is a dude named Chris, the good old silent protagonist. Hopefully one day he'll learn how to speak. Along with you, your pal Susie is there to bully you. Then you got Rousey. A wholesome dark prince. Rousey must be protected at all costs. If you want to mess with Rousey, you're gonna have to get through me. The world and everything has such a fantastic charm to it. You just gotta play it to fully understand how weird and cool it is. Also, unlike Undertale, where it's known that your choices mean everything, Deltarune seems to be pushing the opposite, saying your choices don't matter. Which is interesting, because I feel like they do, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. Deltarune isn't a visually advanced game, just a simple 2D indie game. Like the first Legend of Zelda back in 1802. But calling it simple just isn't really true, because just like Undertale, this game likes to throw in twists and turns everywhere. And it only makes the game better. Plus, the visuals are actually a big improvement compared to Undertale. You see how much more effort was put into this game. And god man, the music is great as ever. I don't know how Toby Fox does it, but he does it. I'm super invested into this game and everything about it, and we've only seen Chapter 1. The day that the full game does come out, I'm gonna be all over it, man. If you haven't played Deltarune, Chapter 1 is free to download download for PC. I'll put a link in the description uh, for the website. And also, hey look, it's my outro card. Hey guys, you can join my Discord, link is in the description. I just added a Deltarune channel so we can talk all about that. Also, next couple of videos are about to be on Smash Brothers. I'm going to be focusing on that and a couple other games, you know, Nintendo stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, finals are coming up, but I will probably live. Probably. <laughs>